Hello Hoopers and welcome to a tutorial on ghosting tricks and transitions. I'm calling the horizontal half ghost. Only ghosting half of the hoop in a horizontal plane. My grip is on the outside and notice how my pointer fingers are still a little released. As I push the hoop out, my wrists will meet facing each other. When I push back in, the hoop will just come to my chest a little bit. When I push out, I'm mainly pushing out with my right hand and my left hand is going to ghosting where it's just resting on the hoop as I push out. This view is mainly just to show you guys the grip. Calling this one the ghosting flip and twist. with our grip on the outside of the hoop, point of finger and thumb meet. I'm mainly gripping the hoop with my right hand my left hand is doing the ghosting. I'm going to push the hoop away from me as my wrist goes from palm down to palm, up and to the side. I then start to bring my wrist together. That will be my cue to flip the hoop over, going palm down with my right hand and re-gripping the hoop with my left hand. So remembering that when my palms come together, that was the cue for the flip. So starting palm down, flipping palm up, twisting palm out, down. And again, my left hand is doing the ghosting. My right hand is really fully gripped on the hoop, which will be manipulating the hoop to do the flip and the twist. So notice here, I am pulling the hoop towards me to do the flip. My grip with my left hand is really just in an okay sign. And then I will be twisting to go palm down, flipping to go palm up, twisting to go palm down. And the whole time, my left hand is just ghosting along for the ride. <laughs> Same move, but with an added transition to bring it on body. So I'm doing that same flip and twist motion, but this time, whenever my wrists come to meet, instead of doing the twist again, I'm going to bring my hands to where they are on the inside of the hoop, bringing it into on body or other transitions. So again, I do the twist, I push out, do the flip. Then instead of doing the twist again, I am bringing the hoop above my head getting my fingers to where they are on the inside of the hoop. So doing the twist, doing the flip, but instead of doing the twist again, I am getting my fingers on the inside, really pushing the inside of the hoop with my hands and my wrist as I re-grip to go to on body. It's a fun transition move. I'm calling the ghost lift off. I like to start it with this popping kind of motion with the hoop in the crook of my elbows. I'm pushing forwards and backwards. Then as the hoop comes behind me, I will get re-grip the hoop on the outside grip as I push the hoop with my right hand going to where my hands are fully extended at the top, palms meet. That will be my cue to guide the hoop back down, staying in that vertical plane having my pointer fingers meet at the bottom. So again, just popping the hoop forward and backwards. When it comes back to behind me, that would be my cue to push it, palms meet fully over my head, and then guide the hoop back down. Some fun ways I like to get into this is you can do shoulder breaks and grab the hoop, then lift off. You can also get into this by just grabbing from shoulder hooping and lifting off that way. This is a ghosting cat eye with a twist. I will be guiding the hoop with my right hand and ghosting the hoop with my left hand. With my left pinky and thumb meeting, I will be guiding the hoop across to my left side with my right grip on the inside and my left grip on the outside. Once my arm becomes fully extended on the opposite side, I will twist the hoop having my fingers meet to guide the hoop on the outside grip with my right hand and my left hand will still be ghosting on an outside grip at the top. 
So once my arm becomes fully extended again, at the other side, that would be my cue to twist the hoop, guiding the hoop with my palm facing down and an inside grip to the left side, then guiding the hoop back with my palm facing up on an outside grip to my right side. Another way you can think about this is you will be really shaping the hoop in a in half. So my left hand will be ghosting half the hoop and my right hand will be guiding half of the hoop. Having your hands meet fully extended at either side. All right, and this one is the vertical half ghost. So I'm pushing the hoop out, pushing it with my grip on the outside of the hoop. My right hand is on top and my left hand's ghosting on the bottom. You can also do this opposite where your left hand is pushing out on top and your right hand's ghosting on the bottom. Really depends on the direction you are pushing it, but you can push this one in all sorts of directions. Thank you all for watching this tutorial and happy hooping.